you guys. Um, I'm playing Skullgirls, and I gotta say, this game is really good. If you guys haven't bought it yet, fucking buy it. It's awesome. And plus, we need to support friggin' the maker of this game, cause, um, I think they were like low on budget or something, and that's why the game came out with like so few characters and stuff, but, well, something like that, or I think they didn't have enough time. But either way, it's good to support the makers of this game, cause, they made a really good fucking game. Um, it doesn't have a lot of characters, but the characters they did make all seem very unique. Like you haven't, like, I haven't really seen any other fighting games that have like these types of characters. Like they're not your normal like I don't know, Shoryuken, Hadouken characters. It's like it's just like a unique type of game. Um, but. It's you can go team base or solo. Basically, if you go solo, your character is like a beast. Like he has a lot of health. I mean, well, she because there's only girls for now. Oh yeah, so she'll have a lot of health and it probably deal a lot of more damage. But if you choose two characters, um, those two characters will have lower health, but you do have assist and the option of switching out like tagging out like in Marvel um you can pick three characters and basically the same thing you have two assists instead of one and you can switch out um I think for the most part most people are gonna be picking either one or two I don't think the third would be really necessary but I mean I don't know I could be wrong I'm not no game expert you know so yeah as for now I'm playing with um Cerebella and she seems to be the character that I like playing the most. But I am thinking of playing also with the... I forgot her name. But whatever, it's the chick with the crazy hair. Like, her hair does all the work for her. Um, Felina or some shit like that. I think she's called something like an F. But, yeah, this game is pretty awesome. Um... You can see here the online is pretty good. Um, they got story mode and everything's pretty good. Uh, I did hear here that they were gonna bring out new characters. I think it was gonna be um male characters though, not just girls now. Um, I don't know when. I have no clue when. I think you can read on it on showyoucan.com. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like reading. I so I just like skim through it and whatever I saw. I'm like saying now. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, um, this doesn't have really um like the move list that you know all the friggin' fighting games have. Um, but if you want the moves list, you can download download them off on um, Skullgirls.com, I think it is. Um, just Google Skullgirls and you'll get it. And then on their website, you can get all the all the moves for all the characters. And right here, um, uh, this character peacock on my swear to god it's she's all keep away man and it's really annoying like because my character is kind of like it's like a get in your face character and with all the keep away it, it becomes frustrating it's like running an obstacle course but either way something i'm gonna have to get used to but see this is why i want to insist like when you play one character like, you can just get on by just keep away but if you have two then you can either use the assist to help you out or maybe another character that would be better at moving through obstacles but yeah look at all that like everything she has is just keep away oh no tick tock I think that's her name yeah that's her name right? I don't know um but yeah man this is a really good game it's Hard to describe, I guess it's like SNK, kind of like Marvel. Um, it's, I don't know, I, I think it has its own unique, like, play style too. Like, um. Yeah, I don't know if you guys should really play this game. It's a lot, like, funner. And it looks, I guess, because when I first saw it, I'm like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to play it, because... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to have a game that I would play with all like 
girl characters. So, like, I'm like, ah, I, mean, I was gonna skip it or something, but saw a couple game play videos. I'm like, oh, it looks interesting. Then I downloaded the demo, and then I got the game. Cost me 20 bucks, but it was worth the buy, man. It was worth every penny. The only thing I wish is I wish they had like more characters. That's, that's about it. Like everything else seems spot on. They even have a, a tutorial mode. If you guys want to see that, um, I'm sure you guys have Maximilian's YouTube channel. He he did a tutorial, like a walkthrough on the tutorial that they have, and it's amazing, man. Like everything I learned over like a fucking like long period of time, they teach you like in five minutes, which I'm uh, so mad at that. Like I wish I had their tutorial for like a bunch of other games that I've played. It took me forever to learn, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? And then in this game, they have like most of all that stuff in there. I mean, it's not gonna make you a top player, but it's it's certainly helpful, and would have been a lot more helpful like for me in the past. But hey. Whatever, hard. I learned the stuff regardless, so I guess I can't complain that much. Um, um, but yeah, and this matchup, I think it's gonna be my most hated matchup ever. Get all that keep away. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are gonna hate this character because she's like she's just so spammy. Like I don't know. Um, but yeah, for now, I mean, these aren't really any, like, high-level play or something on me playing at my best, because I just got the game, like, I don't really know all the, like, combos and damage and stuff. So yeah, it's just like, I don't know, I guess, it's ranked, but I guess it's just like, me playing, playing casually. Um... But yeah, right now my 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 best strategy is jumping up, flying, and trying to hit you with the, her hands, like a fucking slap right there, slap. Basically, corner you and then try and pull off one of my like the hardest combos I know how to pull off. Uh, I think I pull off one here, maybe no, I don't know. But either way, I'm I'm definitely gonna make more videos of me playing. Because I, I love this game. Like, it's, it's so much fun to play. It's like... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's just a unique playstyle. It's just really fun. I picked it up and as soon as I picked it up, I'm like, this game is awesome. Like, I mean, it hasn't even been like three days and I already want, like, um, new characters and new stuff. Let's see, I get me just flying around like a noob. I'm running like a noob too. Yeah, she has like a charge front thing. You hold back for a couple, then forward and any kick will send her flying. Well, not flying, but running towards your opponent. Pretty useful. Yeah. And if you guys don't know, the thing on her head that my character's wearing, um, Cerebella, those arms, it's called Vice Versa, and I think that's one of the coolest names ever, I don't know why, Vice Versa. But yeah. Well, see, that's what I mean, like, she took almost all my life with, um, her first character, and then her second character just had no problem killing me. Oh, here's the one. Um, this is the other character I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna use. Like probably Sarah Bella is gonna be my main character, like the one I, I'm gonna try to master the most. But this character right here, I can't read her name because the screen is too small. But um, this character I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to second. You know, she's gonna be my backup, my my sis character or something, or maybe the other way around. I'm gonna use her first. She dies off, and Sarabella's gonna be my my last hope, kind of like Doctor Doom in my Marvel videos. It's my last hope. Damn, she got sexy combos. Look at that. 
And she got an air dash, and I forgot about that. Look at that, oh my god, off the wall and okay. you should, yeah, 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 I remember, um, you can do that super and then, uh, you can combo off of it and do it to another super. I'm not sure if he did it, oh, he didn't do it already, I think he's gonna do it in the second round. Second or third round, I don't know. Um, I, I really hope the future skins is like improved or something because like I really want this game to come out with more characters and all that. Like, it is so much fun to play, man. Oh damn! Look at that all that damage. so fast paced too it's a pretty fast paced game like what I like about it though is like you can you can make some mistakes it's not like if you make one mistake you're gonna get like completely punished you can make a couple and like you can still recover from it and I actually like the fact that in this game there's no X Factor like or anything like X Factor or Pandora mode or whatever um it's kind of just raw skill like you either win or you don't, there's no backup plan. It's either, you know, you got your mix ups or you don't. It's like, you know, there's no turning back from that. It's like, no sure way, like, oh, I'm losing. I just turn that X Factor or something and I'm gonna win right away. Nope. It's either you gotta know your shit, you know? But I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't hate X Factor, but sometimes I, I hear, like, I'm doing. Perfect, and we got just like level three X Factor Wesker, or level four X Factor Wesker, or something. And just my whole team dies. But yet again, X Factor has its use. It's not like I don't ever use it. You know, I use it too. So, but yeah, that's what I like about this game. No, no real X Factor type things. But, I mean, you can still make comebacks. I, I, I'm kind of sad I didn't record the match, but it was a match where I played after this. Um. And I was actually, I had like maybe 10% health and the dude had like maybe more than like, I guess 60, 70. And I took it with like a couple of mix-ups and throws. And I, I felt good, man. It felt better than using the X-Factor. Because it's like, I know I did it with my skill, not, not a game enhanced me with more power. So yeah, man. Oh, Sarabella is Sarabella. Huh. Oh, she has a sis. See, there you go. Sis. Using a sis there. It kind of feels a little bit weird using assist because it's not one button. You have to press two. I think it's like medium punch and light kick. And I don't know. That's kind of awkward for me to press. So I got to get used to that. I don't remember if I want to smack it Oh yeah, another interesting th interesting thing is that for some reason, like if if the if your opponent chooses two characters and you choose one, um, they it, it, like you only play one match. There's not like one like rounds or anything. You just play one match. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. But if you go one v one then it's best um two out of three so i don't know I, I wonder what's like if you play three against one or two against two or three against three like what, i have to like see like, if you guys know let me know in the comments but uh, that's about it man hope you guys got the game i'm out